Hey everyone, Melissa here. So today's project is going to be the 98 Ford Escort. Yes, it's a wagon. Um, so this is going to be a little bit backwards because I'm doing the body work on this and I'll give the backstory on this project at another time, but I want to do a quick walk around to just show the before and after because I'll be doing some body work on this and raptor lining it. So as a quick walk around, here we are. We've got the hella horns because nobody gets out of the way of a tiny car because nobody can hear it so had to get some hella horns I already got the wheels that I wanted again this project is a little bit backwards and we've got some body work in the back that's gonna have to be done Alex and I are gonna look into welding this later uh, Pac-Man got a little hungry this car is actually referred to as the baboon squirt as you can see it's got a red red butt back there the bumper broke off a couple years ago, and of course these wagons are very hard to find. So red was the color. And do a quick walk around on this side. Sorry, it's not the best because I'm in my garage and it's already on lift. I've done some interior stuff. These are actually 2014 Ford Focus seats. Because the seats that were in it were not great. I will do a quick walk around on the back. Again, baboon squirt. Don't rob a bank. They'll find you. Anyway, so I'm going to get a couple more shots. I'm going to put this in the video. And I will get down to tearing it down. And I'll try to get as much shots as I can of that. And we'll get going. And uh, I won't reveal the color of the Raptor liner yet. <laughs> All right, to get a quick shot, I'm just gonna... Next is taking this front piece off to get the headlights out. I do want to take the fenders off, but as you can see where the lift point is on the pinch weld, 
it's right where I gotta get to the fender, so I'm gonna have to do that off camera when I get the car off the lift, but there's some bolts back here, up in here, two bolts that are about like right here, and the same on the other side, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. It also has these up here, which doesn't even look like they were screwed in, so easy enough. I guess it won't fight me as bad as the hood did, hopefully. So, all right, here we go, We're moving the bumper now. I said it was just one bolt up here. Kind of hard to see it, but it's the same on this side. And then the two that were not up top, which is fine. So, put this off to the side to prep for paint. You'll need a uh, deep socket pin to get this headlight off. All right, so now for the back bumper. Melissa's over there on the tip of the bumper there. There's a 10 millimeter bolt Same thing on the other side and I'm going to be clearing out the back so we can get to the ones back there so let's See what we got in here. We got a little exercise mat. That is our creeper and yes, a CRV mat does fit nicely. And it has a CRV table. I'm trying. Yeah, I tried. There tried. it is. There it is. It does fit for anybody needs to know. Oh, I'll clean that up later now. Why did this? Can't take you anywhere. No, you can't. Clearly. So. Sorry. Uh huh. <laughs> Here's a lug nut. Oh Alright, so we're back. It's actually a 14. We took all the junk out, which the junk includes a CRV picnic table, which, if you didn't know, CRVs have these. I don't know if they still do, but. Fits in the back of the Escort, along with its full-size spare. So. And then, uh, 
there's I think three bolts total on each side. Here's one. It's a stud, so nut. Excuse me. And then there's two more for each side on the bottom. But I'm gonna start with these by loosening them. And I still have to do the other side. I got this side off. And then I will go on the underside while she takes you around to the other side. Mm. I have to go the long way. Come with me as I go the long way. You took my ratchet. So what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Still gotta go the long way. It's nice having the lift in the garage, but when it's too close and you have to walk around all of the stuff in between. It's fine. Okay. So this is, I'll talk about this part next. So we're going to show you guys. We kind of marked up where we think we're going to cut, which I think we're going to stair step it rather than do this drunk type line that Alex drew. Not really sure, but we're going to end up cutting this out and we're going to tack weld in some sheet metal um, just to make sure that we get all the rust. We did hammer around here and we're going this far out because the rust actually is under here as well, even though you can't see it yet. Um, I know that there's some work on the body as well that I'm going to do on the underside. This car was picked up with a forklift. Again, stories for another day. But we'll start by removing the uh, baboon butt and we'll do this part next and be ready to move on to prep next. Alright, so opposite what I said. Two bolts up top here. One's behind this panel below the light and one's right here. So once you get those two up top and the one below, Yep. Goodbye, come. baboon butt. Yep. No more baboon bandits. Nope. The baboon bandits were no more. <laughs>